right leadoff man is on infield hit by Betts and now Seeger jumps on the first pitch drives it into left center and that ball is cut off but all the way around in two pitches the Dodgers strike first Mookie Betts from first one to nothing on an RBI double by Corey Seeger and that's exactly the start the Dodgers needed here tonight yeah, in traditional standards, we would be moving to different stadiums, right? But because we're in the same stadium, the Dodgers being the visitor actually was an advantage for them because they lost the first two games, and that stumble right there cost any chance that the Braves had to stop Mookie Betts and his speed from scoring. What a guy can or cannot do. Here's one well hit into center. That ball is down. Base hit for Smith. It's two to nothing, and Smith is in the second with a double. Two nothing, Dodgers on top, as Smith delivers his first LCS RBI here in 2020. This is what you do when you're a good sinker hitter. You go up the middle. This ball ends up curving away. This is an incredible play by Acuna. That ball should have got by him. But when we get a chance to watch this angle as he came in the second really hard sliding in I'm sorry Pache in center not not Acuna This ball acted like a slider action going to center field it hooked a lot Well a big two out RBI double by the outstanding 25 year old catcher He's been searching for that in this LCS, and he pushed it to second. He showed his good speed last night. As he beat a play at first on what was ruled an error by Albies. Not everybody can do it. Here's a shot into left center field. Back at the wall. It's gone. What a start for the Dodgers. Jack Peterson goes deep. It's a five-run first inning, thanks now to a three-run shot by Peterson. Well, this is what Jock Peterson can do. He's not going to hit 250. Or even 220 sometimes, but he is a home run machine in the postseason. And that is what the Dodgers needed. All of this starting on that close play at first. Here is a shot to center by Rios. Back at the wall. That is gone. Wow. Six to nothing. Dodgers on top. for this type of outburst. By the way, that young man, I know it's a small sample size, highest home run rate in the history of baseball, at the baseball. <laughs> in his career, he has incredible power. People talk about it. I mean, he just, he just displayed it right there. Obviously, these guys talk, Grant Brown, the Dodgers in general, the hitters meeting, after being passive, patient, trying to get the pitch count up, these guys have gone up there ready to swing. And it started with a first couple of hitters. Two pitches, and the Dodgers had a run on a single, infield single by Betts, an RBI double by Seager. And now Rios just jumped on the first pitch and hit it out to straightaway center field. It's six to nothing, Dodgers. Well, you, can, you you know, look, it's it's not as easy as just saying, why can't everybody take a ninth inning approach to the first inning and the second inning and the third inning? And, you know, hitting, I said it yesterday, hitting is contagious when a couple things turn around. Pitching is contagious when a couple things turn around. And I honestly think the best thing for the Los Angeles Dodgers today was being the visitors. I, I, I almost said that it's easy to say now. I almost said that last night. Yeah.
They, they have the big last three innings, certainly the big ninth, and they were going to bat first here in game three as the road team opportunity, and they took advantage of it as the count evens on the number nine hitter, Chris Taylor, two and two. You see that sinker was flat. And when it's flat and up, the hitter can do that. Rios was just re-added to the active roster after a groin injury slowed him in the division series. Your nightmare for a pitcher is you don't make it out of the first inning. Here's one in the center field. It's going to drop for a base hit. They bring the runner Taylor around. He scores over to third is Betts. The inning continues. It's seven to nothing Dodgers here in the first. The most first inning runs the Dodgers have scored in their long postseason history through the five hole with Darno. Here's a fly ball into right center field back at the wall. It is gone. Grand slam. And the first inning is historic. 11 runs on the board for the Dodgers as they are just dropping bombs here in the first inning on the Atlanta Braves. Well, the easy answer is going to be a carried over from the, from the ninth inning. That is history. I mean, that was just a guess. I was, I was kind of just guessing it was in the first inning. But how about most runs in any inning in postseason history? And wow. That is the third home run of the inning. <laughs> The fifth extra base hit. One ball, one strike is the count on Will Smith, who delivered a long time ago a two-out RBI double that scored Corey Seager with a second run of the inning. Muncy now with two home runs over his last three plate appearances. This one is slicing foul down the right field line. Here's the last one, the slam by Muncy. Up again, there hasn't been this many mistakes in two games by the Braves pitchers, and the Dodgers have absolutely not missed any of them. Could have been called. Here's one into right, back at the wall. It is gone off the bat of Bellinger. Home run number four the night for the Dodgers and Bellinger is finding that stroke shades of what happened in the division series against San Diego although in that game he went up to rob a home run went deep in his last two plate appearances last night and he just touches one off wow In a Dodger lineup that is suddenly absolutely red hot, he is the hottest one. Well, you won't see Corey Seager get many triples in his career, but this is the part. If he has a chance to hit for the cycle, and we're only in the third inning, and he's knocked out a homer double and a single, this is the part that would probably give him his best chance. Talk about locked in. Yeah, mechanically sound. I mean, he did there's not a lot of wasted movement. That is Enoa. That is a ground ball to short. That is uh, another run. As Turner scores on the ground out by Will Smith. And it's 14 to nothing. 2 2 pitch. And uh, another run up the middle. Another hit for Bellinger. In to score is Muncie. And it's 15 to nothing here in the third inning. It just won't stop.